What up players? Warbots to up in this mode. So you can see I'm putting the finishing touches on my cannon crew for my dwarf cannon and I thought I'd do a little Warbots tutorial today on how I do my blonde beards and my ginger beards or red headed beards. So here are my two crewmen. The first thing that I did was I painted their beards and their hair. Some of them have hair sticking out the back of their helmets with Cal Thin Brown Citadel Foundation paint. It has great coverage and it'll go nice and smooth over any surface. You just want to make sure you put a little bit of water in it so it's, or, or you thin it down just a little bit if you don't use paint thinner. Uh, sometimes I use uh, paint thinner but you know for, for quick and dirty jobs it's, it's okay I think to use just regular old water just to, to thin it down just a little bit. And just make sure you cover all the surface areas you don't want to go back later if you make a mistake on this one on the base coat. And once you let that dry for a little while, and because you, th you thinned it down, you want to give it a little bit, uh, a good amount of time, so maybe five, ten minutes, just to be, just to be sure, because you don't want the colors blending in too much. The, the trick with this layering method is that it's a lot more effective if each preceding layer is, has enough time to dry first. So once you've done that, snake bite leather is going to be layered over the blonde hair model and bestial brown is going to be layered over the red haired model. So I'm going to apply those colors right now and we will see what they look like when I get back. So as you can see I still left some of the dark Calton brown in the recesses. You can just see it peeking out of the, the corners and the edges of the hair but, but generally you want to cover the whole the whole surface area. The Calton Brown is just there to, to put a foundation for which the other colors build up. So now what you're going to do is you're going to add a little bit of golden yellow to your snake bite, just a small amount, and you're going to start feathering that onto your blonde haired model, this guy, onto the higher edges where the light naturally hits. So I usually paint with the light coming from the upper right, right hand side of the screen here as you, uh, from, from your perspective. So I try to look at, okay, where is the light naturally hitting? So I would paint this on, let's say here, over here on the, on the upper sides of the, of the beard, anything that's not in shadow when the light is shining on it. Meanwhile, for your ginger colored guy, you're going to layer on blazing orange and don't be afraid that it's too bright because we're going to dull it down later. But blazing orange is a nice, bright, bright color. So I'm going to show you what that looks like, what those two colors look like when we get back. So here is my blonde haired Robo Dwarf. Robo Dwarf. Mr. Robot Dwarf. Domo Arigato. And I'm now going to add a little bit of Commando Khaki. So I'm, I've got three colors now for, for blonde. It's the Snake Bite Leather as the base, a touch of Golden Yellow, and a little smidge of Commando Khaki. And if you want to remix and kind of find your own levels for how you want to do it, then that's totally fine. But I'm going to mix those together and I'm going to add it on now. But as you're looking at the dwarf, this is just after the last application, which was snake bite leather with a little bit of golden yellow. Meanwhile, here is my bright, bright blazing orange dwarf. As you can see, I layered, so you can still see some, some Calvin brown, some bestial brown in the cracks and crevices. And that's totally fine, because now what we're going to do is we're going to wash the beard entirely with Ogryn Flesh. And the thing with this is you're going to do two applications of Ogryn Flesh. So the first one, after you're done with it, you got to let it sit for like a good 5, 10, 15 minutes maybe, depending on you know how much light and how, much, how, how fast your environment is. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be shading the rest of my model and highlighting up the rest of my model, finishing up the base and, and doing other things while I wait for that Ogryn Flesh, the first coat to dry and again I'm going to be working while the second coat is drying because both coats of Ogren Flesh need time to dry. So one more time that's adding a little bit of Commando Khaki to your already mixed up snake bite leather and golden yellow for blonde and then for ginger two applications of Ogren Flesh. 
So while I'm waiting for my first coat of Ogren Flesh Wash to dry on this guy, I'm going to continue with my blondes and I am going to actually add a fourth color in to my concoction and this is Deneb Stone. This is going to help you pick up the higher the higher strands of hair and um, will help you highlight a lot better by adding a little bit of thickness because it's a foundation paint. So you've got snake bite leather, commando khaki, golden yellow, and now Deneb Stone. Just a little bit and I'll show you what that looks like. Right now this is without the Deneb Stone. And as you can see I'm starting to stick more towards the edges like wherever the beard is bunched up or wherever the, the, the ends of the hairs are. And you can't really tell on the on the back here, but it's um, you're you're just gradually gradually getting higher and higher up. Don't don't paint the the recesses now. Start sticking away from the shadows because these higher highlights are going to are going to pick up a lot more if you get on the edges. So I'm going to add the denim stone in, and I will come back when that level is done. So here's what my model looks like after the most recent highlight with the denim stone added in. The next step is actually we're going to add a little bit more denim stone and start picking out more individual strands that aren't so close together. And this is where we're really going to take it away from the, from the regular yellow blonde to a more bleached and um, just highlighted blonde. Oh. So, what is that? a lint on this guy's back. Alright, so I'm gonna add a little bit more denim stone and start and start layering and highlighting that up. With my other guy, he's just about drying after his second coat of ogre and flesh. So you can see the, the blazing orange has has blended somewhat into the bestial brown, which is what we wanted. And I'm gonna let that dry a little bit more and then we'll continue with the gingers. Okie dokie, now we're going to start adding white to our mix and I can't find my skull white but I do have some P3 Maro white so I'm going to add that to my mix and start highlighting the edges for my blonde beard then I'm going to be using dwarf flesh on my ginger and for this one you really want to use a fine tip brush and you really want to just catch only the edges because look how nicely the the wash has seeped into the, the, the recesses. When you do two washes it really really deepens and darkens the, the recesses, the colors in the recesses so I don't want to take away from that by having dark fl uh, dwarf flesh seeping into there and, and messing it all up so I'm going to make sure that this is completely dry and let it sit a little while longer and then I'm going to use a fine brush and paint only individual strands. Um, a good way that I do that is that I get some paint on my brush and then I will get a piece of Kleenex and then I'll wipe off most of it and then just make sure that it's at a nice tip. Oh, this one's all messed up. I, I don't use this for my fine for my fine, uh, fine painting. Let me see if I got my other one here. Precise detail, Army Painter brush. So I'll get some paint on the, on the tip and then I'll wipe it off on a piece of Kleenex and then I will sharpen the tip and make sure that it's at a nice point and then from there I will just very very lightly feather the edges in single strokes so that I can get single strands of what I'm doing. And that's how I do all of my blonde beardy effects. For example, this guy. So you still see the dark colors in the recesses but like on the braids you can easily pick up the colors on the highlights. Thank you. You're welcome. My beautiful assistant. Okay, so dwarf flesh for the orange ginger colors. And we're adding a little bit of skull white to our massive concoction for the blondes. So here are my models at this point. As you can see, I really went in to try and get individual strands painted and highlighted up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to wash them, the beards. We're going to wash the blonde beard with Griffin Sepia and uh, we're not going to wash the ginger beard. We're going to highlight over what we did 
with the dwarf flesh with bleached bone. And for this you want to find each strand that you paint the dwarf flesh and you want to just hit the middle of it with a little bit of bleached bone. And that will give you our next step. So I will go and do that and I'll show you what that looks like when we get back. So here's what our product looks like at this stage. The wash of Griffon Sepia on the blonde and the ginger has the bleach bone highlights. So now we're in the last stage of the game. For this one we're going to take some Baal Red and we're going to turn it into a glaze. What I mean by that is use three parts water to one part Baal Red so we're gonna make a really, we're gonna really thin down the wash and then we're gonna just paint that over what we have. So that's gonna give a really deep red in the recesses and it's also going to tie in the colors of the highlights that we just did. And then for the blonde, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our mixture from two steps ago. So right before Griffin Sepia we added Skull White to our mixture so that's, that's the highlight we're going to use and again just on the edges. So again just to remind you that's Skull White, Deneb Stone, Bleached Bone, Golden Yellow, and Snake Bite Leather with Snake Bite Leather being the um, biggest, having the biggest proportion in that. So everything else just being a little, uh, a little bit of every other color just to add a little bit of that uh, lightening to it. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and I'll show you what that looks like. And I'm actually going to show you what it looks like when I'm done painting, highlighting, shading, and doing everything with these models. Okay, so we'll see you when these guys are done. And there you are, players our finished ginger and blonde dwarf beards. Um, it's the same as before with that final step put in and uh, I just finished painting them up. So this is how they'll look and um, with my paint scheme, my particular color scheme, I think it matches really well. And I think it stands out really well, especially against the basing which is purposely dark and, and drab so that the colors on the beards really pop out. The colors on the clothes aren't as bright and distracting. You notice how the green and the blues and the browns aren't, aren't and the reds aren't as distracting so that you can really focus on on the work that that I've done on the beards. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have learned something. I hope you refresh some old techniques. The uh, technique for the blonde hair I actually looked online and found a bunch of different guides but the best one that I found is actually on Daka Daka and it's all about um, painting how to paint blonde hair oops how to paint blonde hair and blonde blonde beard sorry about that I was looking at my computer screen so check that out I don't want to show it because I don't want to get sued copyright and the ginger ginger beard dwarfs that hair is actually I pulled it from a space wolf site from heresyonline.net uh, Space Wolf article on how to paint red or ginger hair. So, uh, you know, I just wanted to share that with you. You could do a search online, Google search them, and I'm pretty sure they'll pop up. They're, they'll be among the first few in the results. But, gotta get this up. Um, probably won't get it up till Sunday because I have to film, render, upload my day 12 of my dwarf project. If you haven't seen that, if you don't know what that is, then be sure to check that out. Definitely check that out and follow that along. But um, thanks again, I hope you learned something. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff down below. And um, I'll see you in the next one.